circular water tank with rigid base numerical, numerical example this is chetanji kunapre assistant professor department of civil engineering walchan institute of technology solapur now this is the learning outcome the student will be able to design and detail the circular water tank with rigid base resting on ground now the same problem which we have discussed in a earlier video uh, in which the design of a water tank with flexible base uh, was discussed uh, the same problem is taken here but with a rigid base for 50000 liters capacity the height of the uh, tank is 4.2 meter and diameter of the tank is 4 meter that is considered these are two dimension which are important okay now let us see actual design starts from this uh, slide so the bending permissible bending compression in concrete is 8.5 newton per mm square and sigma st permissible stress in steel 150 newton per mm square and these are two the stresses in working stress method so m is the modular ratio that is 280 upon 3 sigma cbc and it has calculated 11 now let us see the design constants in case of working stress method the design constants uh, should be prepared first calculated first so this is the n so m into sigma cbc divided by n bracket m sigma cbc plus sigma st so which has calculated 0.384 j is the lever arm constant which is 1 minus n by 3 and it has point value of 0.872 k is 1.1 and half sigma cbc lever arm constant into n and it is 1.482 so these constants are for m20 grid of concrete and fe415 steel now first is the design of cantilever action is the most important uh, uh, design uh, parameter because the wall is uh, having rigid base rigid base means lateral uh, laterally it is restrained once it is restrained so there is no cantilever effect there will be again hoop effect also so in case of this cantilever action the height above small h above base up to which the cantilever action exist is given by h by 3 so a small h is uh, in which the cantilever action exist that is uh, one third of the height of the tank or 1 meter whichever is more here it is 1.4 meter so h small h is 1.4 meter so now let us see the cantilever moment so cantilever moment is uh, like uh, our cantilever uh, beam in which one end is fixed and another end is free here also the cantilever moment means where the base is rigid joint some so moment will exist definitely and that moment is calculated by this formulation that is 1/2 gamma into h that is height of tank and small h that is the height in which bending uh, sorry cantilever action will take place and it has calculated 13.446 kN meter now let us first start with uh, the balance section let us design the uh, section for this moment which is having balance section and that is d is equal to under root m by constant k into breadth so breadth of this section wall is always 1 meter strip and for that whatever depth is calculated is 97.3 mm now this is from balance section point of view so always uh, our rcc sections are kept under reinforced section so that uh, ductile uh, nature shall be there so that's why this d is 4.3 this 4 is diameter by 3 into 97.2 height of wall is 4 meter so that is the d is 129.7 mm now let us keep this effective depth 130 mm and the total thickness 165 mm basically the minimum thickness for water tank wall is 150 mm preferably to avoid the leakage problems now the steel ast is calculated from this moment m divided by sigma st permissible stress in steel into lever arm constant j into d effective depth so this has calculated 790.8 mm square and for this this is the steel which is required for cantilever action for this moment now let us use 10 mm bars and the spacing is calculated by 
area of 1 bar into 1000 mm divided by actually required area that is 790.8 and it is calculated 99.32 mm. Now this is the spacing required. Now we are providing 10 mm bars and it is little um, altered up to 95 mm center to center and this steel is provided on inner face of the wall and the clear cover is kept 30 mm as it is. Now the reinforcement arrangement is explained here. Let us provide 10 mm bars at 95 mm center to center at base and the let us curtail this uh, bar alternately at 1.4 high meter height because the major cantilever action is from base to 1.4 meter and above that it will reduce so that the bars can be curtailed and uh, the alternate bars if it is curtailed then the spacing will be double that is 190 mm that is in the remaining 2.8 meter height. Now this reinforcement details are also shown in the sketch. Now design of the section for hoop action. Now for this reinforcement is to be provided in horizontal direction. Hoop is the circumferential uh, tension. First we have seen the cantilever action and cantilever action is basically it is along the vertical axis. Hoop action is circumferential in which horizontal direction steel is provided. So maximum hoop tension is at 1.4 meter. And this hoop tension is given by this formulation gamma into h that is height of wall minus h in which the cantilever action will take place into d by 2 and it has worked out for 54.88 kilo newton. Now this is the steel which is provided or which is required for hoop action that is the hoop tension divided by the permissible stress in steel and it has calculated 365.8 mm. Now again 10 mm bars can be used if we observe the steel uh, amount. So 10 mm bars can be used and the spacing is 214 millimeter. So for hoop action let us provide 10 mm bars at 200 mm center to center. So, okay. so for cantilever action the steel reinforcement is calculated and that can, uh, it is up to 1.4 meter uh, the reinforcement is calculated and for hoop action also the horizontal steel is calculated. In both these actions the diameter of bar is kept same 10 mm. Now let us uh, go for check for the inside stress in the concrete. The sections are designed reinforcements are also calculated but whether the section is safe uh, from permissible stress in the tension or not that shall be checked first. So actual uh, hoop steel is provided that is they are determined by uh, actual uh, spacing which uh, so bar area of bar into 1000 mm divided by actual uh, spacing provided and it has given you 392.6. Sigma CT permissible stress in tension that is calculated from hoop tension divided by equivalent concrete area. So this is the formulation for this equivalent concrete area that I will explain you. This is the thickness of wall 165 mm total thickness. Then the 1 meter length is considered plus modular ratio minus 1 into the provided area of steel. So it is converted area or equivalent area of the concrete which is divided to the hoop tension magnitude and it is calculated 1.1 Newton per mm square. Now the actual uh, permissive stress in concrete it is less than uh, actual stress is less than the permissible for m20 grade of concrete that is 1.3 newton per mm square hence it is safe now so for bottom 1.4 meter above base the spacing 100 mm may be kept and in the remaining portion it can be raised up to 300 mm center to center now this is the distribution steel in vertical direction it is provided and it is minimum 0.3% of the section, section is 165 mm thick, the length which is considered 1000 mm and it is 495 mm square. Now my question to all of you, vertical steel in vertical wall is designed for dash dash dash. So fill in the blank, these are the four options. The answer is cantilever action. Now this is the base slab, base slab is again it is provided on uh, 
uh, firm base so con continuous support is available that's why the thickness for now it's provided nominal thickness that is 150 mm with the nominal reinforcement of 8 mm uh, bars at 220 mm center center in both the direction most important thing is this haunch provide 150 by 150 mm haunches at the junction of vertical wall and base slab and to ensure rigidity at this joint we have to provide the reinforcement that is of 8 mm bars at 200 mm 220 mm center to center and it will take care of the development length required for the cantilever steel also let us see all these details in the sketch this is the reinforcement detail for the tank with rigid base thickness of the wall 165 mm so for bottom 1.4 mm the vertical steel is 20 mm 200 center to center sorry the hoop steel is 10 mm tor 200 center to, and it is increased above 1.4 meter up to 300 mm and this is vertical steel 10, 10 mm, mm 95 mm center to center <coughs> this is the base slab <coughs> thickness is 150 mm and the reinforcement is 8 mm tor at 200 center to center on both faces now in earlier video we have seen the tank with flexible base in this video we are observed we have observed tank with rigid base both the reinforcement sketches are shown here okay so this is rigid base water tank this is flexible base water tank so the dimensions are same there is a difference in the thickness in rigid base it is 165 in flexible base it is 100 mm but the reinforcement required for hoop it is very high in flexible base water tank Whereas the reinforcement required for, required for hoop, it is uh, smaller than the tank with flexible base in case of the rigid base water tank. This is the difference and most important thing is that haunch is provided here. Okay, now this is the reference for this video.